This is Daniela Camboni and you are watching Kitco News. My guest today is Greg Hunter. He's a former correspondent with ABC News and CNN. He's also the founder and publisher of usawatchdog.com. Greg, thanks so much for being with us today. Hi, Daniela. Good to be here. All right, Greg, what a crazy week. Uh, in the markets. Uh, last week, we saw the downgrade of the U.S., which affected the markets. What do you make of all this right now? Well, uh, what I'd like to comment on mostly is how this downgrade is portrayed. And how it's portrayed is that it's a downgrade of our debt, and it's not a big deal because we went from uh, AAA to AA+, plus, and it's not a big But what the big deal is is that it wasn't the debt that was downgraded. In reality, it was the dollar that was downgraded. I've been writing about this on my site, usawatchdog.com. And it's, it's downgraded and it's scaring the world because there's $12 trillion out in the world uh, held in liquid uh, dollar assets, dollars, uh, treasury bonds, things like that. And you hear people like uh, you know, Warren Buffett and Alan Greenspan say, well, the United States could never default because, well, they can just print money and pay back uh, dollars. Well, uh, the rest of the world understands that and if you give somebody two dollars today and it buys a loaf of bread in ten years now you give them that two dollars back plus a couple of percent and it buys a piece of bubble gum that's not paying people back and the world is getting this this is nothing short of the destruction of fiat money in the west you have the EU who they have decided to stick a toe in the water and bail out now Spanish and Italian banks in, in Spain and Italy and they're hoping they can just put a little money in and then they can do enough austerity. I think it's going to be the whole kit and caboodle. You have the United States who can't reach a debt deal. We need severe cuts in the United States to right the ship. I mean, the United States, uh, and this is blasphemy over here, I don't, mean, I don't mean cuts like don't take care of people you send to war. I don't mean those cuts. I mean out of Korea, out of Europe, out, boom, gone, we're out. You guys take care of yourself. Greg, do you think we're going to be seeing a QE3? Uh, I wrote about this in, um, in January, and what I did was I polled people who were right. You know, you keep hearing about the consensus. Oh, this surprised the consensus. It was down, which is the whole mainstream media. Who every time something bad happens, oh, nobody saw that coming, like the 2008 meltdown. And you could hear, it was lights of flashing and whistle of blowing all the way up the train track that this was coming. So I interviewed the same sources who have been correct. And my sources in January of this year said, forget it. QE2 will turn into QE3. It'll be overt or covert, but I think it's going to end up being overt. And the reason why it will, and this, it's still going on today because the Federal Reserve announced in their letter that they are reinvesting the, the interest, the principal of their all this big, giant, fat bond portfolio. So you have, uh, you know, basically, in a sense, uh, you have, uh, you know, forever QE, and they're going to have to add it enough. And they're going to have to add to that. So I think when they go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and they get together and uh, either they do QE or the whole thing falls off a cliff, you're going to see QE. Now, you'll see the stock market rise, but, you know, gold's going to get, uh, get turbocharged. I think they're trying to manipulate it. And a lot of people say, uh, you know, that all oh, that manipulation, that's not really true. I Listen, they manipulate the stock market. All right, let's go back to the issue of U.S. dollars. Greg, what's the solution if the states stops printing money? What do we do? What we need in America is a reset. And the reset, you cannot create jobs by saying, we need some create some jobs by taking some money from some, some people and creating a government job. You have to have capital formation to create jobs. And what we have is debt formation. And the reason why we have debt formation, for example, uh, just this week, Bank of America uh, had uh, $73 billion of toxic mortgage assets taken off their books, compliments of Fannie Mae. Now, Freddie Mac, uh, they were forgiven $127 billion at the beginning of the year. Of course, not a word about this. All this ballyhoo, uh, you know, earlier this year about, oh, they want to cut $60 billion or $38 billion, which ended up being, a, you know, $350 million in cuts. It wasn't really cuts at all. But not a word about a $127 giveaway program by the Treasury Secretary, Tim Geithner. Ah, you don't have to pay that back. Finally, Greg, we have 10 seconds left. Your forecast for gold, short term, long term? I think gold could go up and then sell off pretty hard for a few months, and I get that from uh, you know the farm, former head of Princeton Economics, and that is uh, you know Martin Armstrong. And I think we've had a big run, and people are, think that well, once they buy it at seventeen or eighteen hundred, it'll always be that. Well, if you're buying physical gold, it can you have to be able to buy it without margin, so it can go up and down. And I always tell people to have you know this should be like an insurance policy. This shouldn't be a trading position for most people. 
You know, if you're going to get into the trader market, I don't give advice for trading positions and buy here and sell there, but for a long-term core asset, asset because I think if you take a look at the metrics, and this is longer than 10 seconds, uh, if you look at the metrics, that gold really at $850 an ounce in 1980, to equal that all-time high would be $8,400, according to John Williams, economist at shadowstats.com. We have a long way to go, and I think gold is cheap. That doesn't mean it can't go down $100 or $150 or $200, but I think gold is cheap. And for a long-term play, and I think silver also very cheap, uh, people should have it in their portfolio. All right, gold is cheap. Greg Hunter, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. You can email me your comments and questions at newsfeedback at kitco.com.